If you've ever wanted Bitcoin mining earnings without running the Bitcoin miners, then what we're gonna review today might be exactly what you're looking for. I've deployed a Bitcoin miner with Siberian Mine, where apparently miners never fail, there's a lifetime warranty, and an automatic failover if your miner goes down. Mining is basically turning electricity and internet into passive income mining bitcoins with specialized hardware called ASIC miners. These purpose-built machines hash or basically mine or work on the SHA-256 mining algorithm, which is Bitcoin's mining algorithm. It's the thing that powers the whole chain. You get paid for it. At a glance, Siberian Mine has some really big claims, right? Lifetime warranty, automatic failover. Basically, you, you set up a miner with them and you're supposed to be pretty much good to go. Get sick of it, you can sell it at any time. You get a hosting bonus, right? That's the quick crash course on this. What is their uptime? 2020, 98.5. 2021 to 2022, 95.34. In 2023, they bounced back to 98.64%. Who's behind this company that was founded in 2017? The founder is Max. Max Matraninsky. I think I think I got that. I think I think I nailed it. Uh, so looking at a thread, all right, you know, how did this all come to be and come around? So he was looking for a way to have some sort of arbitrage business, and specifically, things were cheap and available in Russia and expensive in Europe. Electricity was very cheap in Russia, and investments were abundant in Germany. Fast forward, using Bitcoin as a way to export cheap and clean energy with a friend. And he started down on this uh, endeavor in 2017 and again fi founding Siberian Mine. All right, so check this out. I just logged in uh, with the Google Direct login. Uh, so then I'm here in the dashboard. The first thing I needed to do was top up the account. Uh, so what I chose to do was to top it up with Bitcoin. 0% fee here. Most of their options have 0% fee. Uh, and so for this example, I just put in 6,800 euros. Uh, once you do that, you are redirected to an automated page here that's facilitated by BTC Pay. I actually underpaid the invoice just a little bit, uh, and that's okay. It still worked out and credited my account due to buying the exact amount I needed and then getting it with an exchange withdrawal fee to top up this account. Another thing you can always, of course, do in the future is you can withdraw money. Uh, if you withdraw, they give you the SEPA or the SEPA option, as well as the SWIFT option. So at this point, I'm logged in, I've got a balance, so I need to get some miners. So I'll click on buy now. It will bring me to their store page, which is the store tab up here. So there's pre-installed, there's also pre-orders, uh, which can be particularly advantageous price points. And then there's marketplace, uh, which would be basically buying from existing users as opposed to uh, the actual company here, Siberian Mine. So to be frank, looking at the prices of these miners, I would be better off pre-ordering a miner that will come online within the next month uh, and then saving a thousand euros. But of course, I'm paying the tube tax and I wanna get this online right now. So the pre-installed miners uh, will be switched over to you the same day that you order them. And to be honest, looking at the numbers, the 195 terash second version uh, would make, it, it is a better buy because if you look at the price per terahash. So I've got 6,800 euros, but I wanna keep some coin in my account. And I'll explain more here in a second. So I click buy, I get this pop up irreversibly, right? You buy this, that's it, you bought it. Uh, so this will cost me 4,721 euros, leaving me 2,079 euros in my account. Uh, having an account balance is absolutely critical because the hosting cost is written off of your balance daily. So if it's not positive, uh, they will shut your miner off. So let's look at this. Now we have purchased the miner. I mean, it's a one click buy. And looking at the numbers, it's gonna cost us 5.2 euros a day uh, in hosting, which is 158 euros a month. 
we will profit nine dollars and 86 euros a day which is about 300 euros per month and remember when you look at these numbers your revenue is how much coin you're mining your hosting cost is equivalent to your electricity cost and any other fees for basically setting this up and running it and maintaining it all the time and so forth your profit is your hosting cost deducted from your revenue one of the very unique things about siberian mine is they have a hosting bonus they state that if you keep a balance greater than 1000 euros uh, that you get a hosting bonus the bonus works out to about 23 uh, percent and that goes and is contributed towards your hosting fees what's even more interesting though is their lifetime warranty and automatic failover that they boast what does that mean if a miner fails they fix it for free and while they're fixing it they make up the hash rate that's not common that that is not common so i refreshed it and this miner uh is apparently online to illustrate the equation for the hosting balance there's this little pop-up uh, buyer balance. So balance-based hosting discount shows that I have minus 1.31 euros, which is about 0.0632% a day, 478.15 euros or about 23.06% a year. They also scale your power costs down as you have more machines with them. Uh, for example, I'm level one with just one machine and they're basically charging me 0.059 euro per kilowatt hour uh, but you would go up from level two to level eight uh, depending on your electrical consumption there these numbers differ than the projected information here uh, so the hosting is naturally or as it should be still the same uh, the expected revenue is almost 12 euros uh, resulting in a expected profit of about 6.55 euros a day so let's say somehow everything stayed the same for 12 months over the next 12 months i would earn about 2400 euros uh which would get me basically half of the way uh to breaking even on my initial buy of this miner on this uh mining platform or you know really it's like buying remotely into a mining farm one thing i do like about this platform is uh you can update the display currency to whatever you want or at least within these options uh, so i've changed mine to usd which is a little bit easier for me to understand on the fly, uh, you know, being here, as that's my native dirty fiat currency. I also put in my Bitcoin address in my profile tab, so I will receive my payouts in Bitcoin to my Bitcoin wallet. And I really just want to illustrate and highlight that at no point has there been KYC, right? I come on here, I send Bitcoin, which could be for my own personal Bitcoin wallet. I get a Bitcoin miner online. I can get payout right back to that Bitcoin wallet or wherever else. This is a platform that allows users to participate in a very private and just crypto centric way, which I personally really appreciate. By the way, if your interest is peaked and you happen to be headed to mining disrupt this year or willing to go, then you could meet the CEO, you could meet this guy, Max, at Mining Disrupt. They'll be attending, I'm not sure if they're gonna be attending a Siberian mine or ever miner powered by Siberian mine. And some of the other big names attending Mining Disrupt would be companies like Bitmain, Canon, Ice River, Fog Hashing, which we've had a really good experience with their immersion equipment. And also Alphapex Miner, who we recently did a review on their Dogecoin Miner. By the way, Mining Disrupt has supported Voscoin and our subscribers by giving us a coupon code and link to get 20% off your tickets. Unfortunately, I won't be there this year, but hey, maybe you can go and have some fun in my stead. So let's check out the mining performance. I've had this up for about a week now. We can see the first day probably combined a little bit of the prior day. Uh, it's a little abnormally higher. Uh, so beyond that, we're mining about $11 worth of Bitcoin, $12 worth of Bitcoin, $11 worth of Bitcoin, 11, 11, 11, 11. And then below that, we also can see our electricity cost in the red. Uh, so it's costing about $5.56 uh, uh, USD per day, right? And so that lines up with, we're basically paying $5.56 for hosting or $170 a month, $169. Uh, revenue right and that's before our expenses $11.31 projected 
uh, and then our expected profit based on these numbers is essentially $5.74 or $174 per month. We are effectively being billed a little bit over six cents per kilowatt hour in electricity. Looking at my miner page, we can see that everything is pretty much in line uh, with our actual performance and earnings that we are uh, achieving and receiving in our dashboard. If we click the open F2 pool page, it will take us uh, to the actual miner here on uh, their mining pool. We can see the hash rate of the mining rig right here, straight 200, uh, and it is hitting it in exactly even 200 terahash a second. And what I think they do, uh, and I know that you can split hash rate on F2 pools, I think they have a huge mining farm and basically you buy a piece of it. And so I purchased a miner here that is supposed to do 200 terahash a second. Uh, and then they redirect exactly 200 terahash a second as measured on the mining pool. Uh, to my miner's address. So, I mean, to hit a straight even 200 terahash a second it is interesting, unusual, and incredibly just consistent and reliable. That also goes in line with 100% uptime uh, for these specific days. A little bit lower uh, on the 13th, but uh, th that's, that's absolutely surprising data. Or maybe that's better described as just interesting. Here's an example of one of my personal Bitcoin mining rigs I run in my personal farm here. And we can see that my hash rate, and this is aftermarket firmware, uh, so there's a little bit of auto tuning that takes place in this. But even so, uh, my hash rate uh, fluctuates between 100 and 105. Uh, on this mining pool address though, some other miners can pop up and submit a couple shares as well. So it does create a little bit more of a discrepancy, uh, but either way, you, you never see a straight 200 or a straight exact hash rate every time. I will say though that generally that's a, that's a good thing as a consumer, right? I'd rather see a straight 200 than a 200, a 201, a 198. As far as the actual reported earnings here, uh, we can see it's basically 000. 000 16317 Bitcoin. And when we go back to the dashboard, uh, that information is gonna be lining up e exactly. And maybe this isn't a rollover from previous day hash rate because F2 pool would just have a partially paid day here. So as much as I love running my own miners and building my own mining farm, I also recognize that it's not for everyone. However, getting the exposure to Bitcoin mining, you know, passive income, my, mining is basically the coolest way to DCA or dollar cost average into cryptocurrency. Uh, so this is not very interesting and it's been a very good experience uh, so far running a miner in their mining farm. I'm thankful for the opportunity uh, for them to support us in this review to be able to do this. Uh, it's very exciting to try different options and explore different avenues uh, for mining exposure. To have actual rig ownership here with you know a clear guideline of like, you know, this is my rig, it's supposed to do this, a transparent breakdown on what it's earning. I can even see a pool side, I can see the associated costs, right? This is much different than for example, the big scam that ended up being something like Genesis Mining with their cloud mining. This is more like remote mining, this is more like co-location mining where you have rig ownership, you can sell the rig, uh, you don't have, you're not locked into this contract until they decide that it's not profitable anymore, uh, for example. So I, I like that aspect. One of the concerns though is just gonna be the mining farm location. Due to obviously just the global situation, I do have concerns a, about a mining farm in that general area of the world. Other than Bitcoin and cryptocurrency being generally volatile in price, even though it gets more stable, you know, as we go farther down the timeline, that actual geo location brings me a level of concern. But they've been operating for six to seven years so far, and they've made it through everything in the past. I'd like to hope that they can continue down a good road moving forward. So let me know your thoughts. My name is Vosk, you're on the Vosk on YouTube channel. I hope you subscribe. If for no other reason than the fact that we were in 10 seconds of tales, our CBO, Chief Bitcoin Officer here. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later.